So drawing as a whole is really beneficial. I find it's beneficial for me as an artist. Um, I can see it's beneficial for lots of other artists, but also it, it, it's potential to help anybody express their thoughts and feelings. And it could be through drawing with a pencil, or like one of the artists in our exhibition who was drawn with hair. Um, there's so many ways in which you can express what you need to within drawing, so it's so valuable. It's uh, part of a, an integral part of how I work as an artist. Um, I use a journal which, which helps me sort of contextualise all the work that I do, uh, where I can come back to the work um, 18 months, two years after, so I can make drawings, sketches, and notes on, on what uh, I would like to create until the sort of the time comes and then I can go back to that and then, then elaborate on those uh, drawings and then we can sort of expand on them and that's where then I start creating work. Drawing as a project for Vane is important because it gives us a chance to showcase the different kinds of artists we're working with and the different approaches that each of those artists have. As the four exhibitions that are part of Drawing this time, you know, artists that span over 50 years in terms of age, um, difference in age, also um, film, um, more traditional drawing if you like, um, computer aided drawing, real whole variety of approaches. I think drawing is important because it gives such an insight into an artist's practice. It's immediate. It certainly is a way that artists have of really developing their thoughts and you can see that happening. The process itself is a movement between the thinking and the hand, between the mind and production. And I think audiences respond to that as well. It certainly has an immediacy for them and it gives a clear insight into the, into the mind of the artist. project is it's an interesting one because it allows people from all levels to engage with it so it's not like a, this is a fine art gathering with fine artists and people talking about fine art it's actually people just talking about mark making what they define as drawing coming in and what that drawing means to them and how they can get involved with that process I think the drawing project is about raising, a, uh, raising awareness of the um, many facets of drawing and how broad and how rich that is. In a taught environment it's very much a communal activity and people participating in drawing classes for instance 
feed off each other and encourage each other and it becomes very much a social interaction. Drawing matters both as a project as well as a practice. Um, it's something so intrinsic, so innate and so natural to all of us. I think one of the key things about drawing is that it's, it's a fundamental language. Sometimes I find it easier to draw than to articulate an idea in other terms. And it's that visuality of the inquiry, the process of actually doing the drawing, that you find out a lot about an idea. And at the same time, the idea can be articulated to someone else. It might be easier just to, to work with your screen on, a, on your, your phone or your tablet than to pick up a pen or a piece of charcoal and kind of scribble out an idea. But if you talk to people in architecture, um, in the design areas, drawing is becoming a big focal point again. What is really interesting about where we're positioned now is actually, I think this, this collaborative project allows us to look to the future and in some respects shape the future and what drawing might mean for us, specifically here in the Northeast. Drawing matters to everybody, uh, whether they know it or not. Um, I believe, I know, that we all drew when we were little. It, making marks is a really innate part of who we are as human beings, making our mark on the world. Adults, kids are teaching schools, people with dementia, people um, who perhaps got learning disabilities, but I realise that drawing is important to them as well and they start to realise it. And I find it really exciting when they um, learn to find different ways of making marks so that they've got a voice in being able to say things that they want to say. But drawing's a really immediate thing. It's not, it's something everybody can do. That's what is brilliant about it. That's why it matters. So it's important for Holy Biscuit to partner with drawing because the act of drawing in and of itself um, we think is a really important thing. Um, when you sit down and you, you draw something, you're really intimately looking at the world um, in a way that a lot, of, a lot of people don't do. We tend to rush around a lot 
Um, and so we think it's important to sit down and, and to, to really intimately know what you are looking at um, through the act of drawing. There's an artist, um, Jade Malbone, and she is looking at how our, our words are, are what's left behind after we die. And so she's made a machine that when you speak into it, it makes a mark on, on paper, and that's kind of a drawing of itself. Well, there's, there's a, number of, um, a number of aspects to drawing, and it, it's kind of, it, there's many types of drawing, from observational drawing, uh, to abstract drawing, to technical drawing. And even technical drawing is important in this region, being an industrial region. You know, so it's kind of embedded, I would say. As well as Middlesbrough being um, very strong on drawing, they used to have the Cleveland Drawing Biennale, uh, and still have a big collection of drawings in the MEMA collection. So in terms of this region, it's, it's very important. This exhibition has been really important for us to bring to uh, Borough Upon Tweed. It really helps us demonstrate to audiences how drawing is a core skill of artistic activity. Uh, it really demonstrates how a range of artists, including painters, sculptors, and printmakers, are all influenced by drawing activity and that that is key to their practice. And it's also enabled us to engage with a really wide range of audiences, including young people, um, school children with, with drawing workshops. Uh, lectures for adults looking at the history of drawing from cave art to Banksy and also a series of life drawing classes looking at different aspects of the body and tone and shade and drawing and abstract. Yeah, well, military drawing has been used throughout history and it, it dates back all the way to the Renaissance. Um, but it had been particularly deployed as a, as a technique of warfare um, during the 19th and tw early 20th century. And it was often used as an intelligence gathering technique. Spies disguising themselves as artists and going out into the open air and painting. Uh, river scenes, bridges, sort of road junctions, which are also military sensitive points. 
point of the exercise was to try and draw as much information or as take in as much of the scene as possible without looking at the page, which would have drawn attention to you know, you're making the drawing. Toulouse Trek used the technique quite a lot in his drawing of the Folly Bergers to, to kind of go unnoticed within so the, the bars of Paris. So you could probably speculate that this technique transferred from you know, sort of military operations during the Franco-Prussian War and the French Civil War that was happening at the time and worked its way into art production. One of the real benefits of the regional universities here in the North East is the kind of collaborating partnership that this project has brought us together. Um, you know, very often we're working with kind of different research projects and different research agendas, but the beauty of drawing and the kind of fundamental nature of it in visual art practice um, has brought us together. The other thing is the potential for drawing to, to reach out to other academic subjects. So it's not just about fine art practitioners, it's about the students working in design, it's about students working in architecture, the built environment. You know, it, it, I've just been building a studio and the builder, to explain his ideas, so oh, I can't put that there, and he do a drawing, so that's why. So it's that articulation of ideas. So that's where I think the, the, the North East Universities can actually start linking together and we can look at drawing in not only the terms that we know about just now, but in new terms as well that can reach out to different audiences. Drawing is gesture through the body. Drawing is happiness. Drawing is precision. Drawing is a journey. Drawing, Drawing is togetherness. Drawing is a way to find truths. Drawing is expression. Drawing is liberating. Drawing is recorded imagination. Drawing is fun. Drawing is important.